Hi guys, we're here at the Ramos House Cafe and we're here with John and Jillian. And we're gonna learn a little bit more about how the Ramos House Cafe got started. Hey guys. Hi. How are you? Good. So tell us a little bit more about how the Ramos House Cafe started, how long it's been around. That's a, oh, that's a tough question. Um, it's, well, the house was built in 1881, um, and it was lived in by the Ramos family for 100 years. And then when I bought it 25 years ago, you know, it was just a house. <laughs> All right, so when I, uh, when I bought the house, um, I bought it for the purpose of turning it into a restaurant because this is the oldest remaining neighborhood in California. At 1794 was when it was established. So it, um, it was still zone cottage commercial. Okay. Right, because people made their saddles and their poultices and whatnot and yeah. sold them out of these old houses. That's arguably the oldest house in California. That's 1794. Wow. Uh, so all the soldiers that built the mission and all that lived on the street, and they never changed the zoning. In fact, it was boarded up and it was going to be demolished by the railroad track. They were going to double track through here. So anyhow, I found the zoning map, the doodle doodle, it's ground up some pennies and uh, bought the place. And um, I wanted to. I went to cooking school and my thesis was, in essence, uh, if you want to call it a thesis, uh, I, I wanted to live in my restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was looking around for places where I could do that and I found this place and bought it and um, then started repairing it and building it and built a kitchen on the back of it and uh, 25 years later, here we are. Wow. Amazing. As inarticulate as ever. Amazing. <laughs> and, now, and you guys are uh, affiliated with the vi villa, or you also own I own the, the villa, villa as well, yeah, and that's another old structure. That's 1910. Um, Amazing wedding venue, you guys. You have to check it out. Please do. Uh, so yeah. I've, I've grown up here in San Juan Capistrano, and this has been the most successful restaurant, I feel, in, in the area. And it's right here on Los Rio Street, the historic district of San Juan, right next to the Mission. Um, I think the brunches are just unbelievable. Um, they are actually, I feel like your Bloody Mary. Can we talk about your Bloody Mary right. for a second? Like, <laughs> what? Okay, you want to hear a story about that Bloody Mary? That Bloody Mary? <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm I'm the guy, and I apologize for this ahead of time. That's responsible for all this stacky nonsense. You know, <laughs> we we were amazing. just in Utah last week, and uh, and I'm, or no, we were in Vegas, and uh, then we went to Utah. And I'm watching these people skewer all these hot dogs and stuff. They got to put it in their bloody, bloody Mary. Yeah. But that's all because of one morning that we had here, um, you know, 25 years ago, and. It was just me and two other cooks that I had, and it was like, okay, let's make the best Bloody Mary. It was New Year's Day. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, and I'm like, what are you gonna do? I'm like, I'm gonna pickle some beans. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put brine in the Bloody Mary. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna poach a shrimp. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna make a scotch egg. And we all started stacking stuff on there because we were having a little bit of a competition. Yeah, right. And we were all hung over, and everyone had spent the night here, you know, the night before, and uh, we were getting ready for New Year's Day. And, uh, and that's how this whole weird, trend started so what was, is was right here. What, what is this? We right. got shrimp. The that's a shrimp. That's a scotch quail egg. So that's a quail uh, egg. Yeah. Quail okay. egg. Okay. There's so a it's a hard boiled quail egg that oh, wow. is wrapped wow. in sausage. Oh. And wow. then um, Amazing. and then fried. Yeah. Pickled beans, whatnot. Delicious. Wonderful. And they yes, they are delicious. If you haven't had one of these Bloody Marys, you have to come down here to the Ramos house. You really have to try it. Now and the no, beignets. Are these beignets? beignets? Well, they are and they aren't. Okay. Um, they they're not beignets in the in the classic sense, you know, uh, from uh, from Cafe du Monde, but they're they're donut holes in essence. They're oh. uh, they're uh, yeah. I call them beignets, <laughs> but they're uh, they're 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 cottage cheese and and green apples and uh, I'm sorry, ricotta cheese and green apples and uh, you know. Yeah. Wow. Wonderful. Donutty stuff. And they're Very. gorgeous. They look delicious. They Very are good. unique um, food here. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, I'm a chef by nature, uh, or I just have always been a chef. And then, uh, you know, it's, it, it is, uh, it's something that we do just on a daily thing. I don't change right. the menu every day like I used to mm -hmm. when I was actually in the kitchen more often than I am now. But, uh, you know, whichever way the wind blows, I mean, people bring me produce and stuff, and it's like, wow. boom, we got to come up with something, and then we come right. up with something, and... And uh, oft times uh, it uh, it makes good stuff. Yeah. Do you use any local produce or any? Anything? I use only, uh, yeah, only, only, local only local. And you have a stuff. you have a garden here or a, like something? That um, you 
I grow some stuff like that's a kumquat tree that's mm -hmm. obviously corn growing there yeah plums are coming in in the back right now you know I'll grow my herbs my delicate stuff like basil and stuff like that uh -huh. I've got a couple of grow cabinets in the back you know okay. where we'll we'll grow a few things you know but in all honesty I don't grow everything I mean but right. but everything else is sourced locally it's all you know our, our menu is absolutely seasonal and we do it uh, you know with the seasons and, and how about the name, the Ramos House? Like, is that where did well? That... The family that lived here for a hundred years before I did. Uh, that was there was a shingle uh, right on that wall over there. It was okay. just nailed to the wall. It said Ramos House. And okay, it stuck. I kept mm -hmm. it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Why not? Yeah. Well, what what are your favorite? If you had to pick, like, your top two on the menu. What if someone is coming from out of town to order? I mean, what would you? Well, recommend? I mean. The Bloody Mary. The Bloody, the Bloody Mary is sort of an institution. I mean, uh, I mean, Zagat's gave that uh, the best Bloody Mary in, in the United States. Uh, That's I funny. mean, it's it's uh, it's it's a good Bloody Mary, you know. So I, I mean, I would always start there, really but, good reviews, guys. I, but really I would start good. with the bad Bloody Mary, you know. So that's that's just me. But uh, the donuts are righteous. Uh, the crab hash, everybody likes a lot. Um, you know, the thing is, is I do change the menu whenever I'm not satisfied with something or whenever the seasons come in. So. There's nothing on the menu that I don't recommend because I would take it off, um, right, right. you know. Um, uh, we reprint menus every morning for what we're doing that day. Um, and uh, if it's the same thing it was yesterday, then so be it. But uh, I would never serve something I didn't stand behind. Um, I love the huevos rancheros now, but I, I mean, I love the, the vegetable torta that I think you're going to eat in a minute. That's good. Summary. I don't Anything know. that comes with that fried poached egg with the orange juice. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah, we take the eggs that so we take them, organic, free range, yada yada, um, uh, large egg, and then you poach it in orange juice and champagne. In the orange juice. Yeah. Oh, wow. And wow. so the the acidity, you know, constricts the albumin around the white part of the egg. Wow. And uh, and then you just put it in panko, fry it, and it's so it's like it's fried and it's poached. It's heavenly. Okay. It sounds wonderful. <laughs> I love the creativity behind all the dishes here at the Ramos house. I mean, obviously a lot of heart and soul goes into these dishes and um, and I mean a lot of thought. They're just, they're really phenomenal. They're really, it's just very unique, so. I like your dress, can I say that? Oh, thank you so much. I like your dress as well. But thank that's, that's thank I, I'm, you. A, I'm a big fan of yellow. yellow yeah. This whole house was painted yellow. yellow. I heard <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I was, I was pretty happy to find this little It's quite room. nice. It is beautiful. Yeah, quite you. nice. Well, thanks for joining us today. Well, and thank you. You guys need to come on down to the Ramos House Cafe if you haven't been here. It really is a treat. Hi, this is Bree and Marissa. Thank, thank you, you for subscribing, subscribing to the Grassroots Gals. We look forward to bringing you the best family-owned businesses. Follow along and keep buying local.